I don't wanna wait for our lives to be over. I look at my portfolio and say it wants to go up. Guys, Bitcoin Overdose here. Your daily dose of crypto. I overdose so you guys don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. The link is right down below for that. And hopefully, um, hopefully my preview is actually showing up right here. Oh yeah, that's dope. All right, I'm not wearing a hat though. All right, anyways, guys, buy Bitcoin and show. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. And I overdose so you guys don't have to. Your daily dose. Hit that subscribe button. And this is not any financial advice given whatsoever. But hit that notification bell to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto pumps and dumps and TA and everything else related to the crypto space that I can give you guys for what you need to know. I'm Bitcoin Overdose, though, Brady. If you did not know my name, actually, I don't know how many of you guys actually know that. But um, anyways, go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose. The link is right down below. And <coughs> hit that. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm so sick. I don't know how, but you know what? It's whatever. I'm still doing a giveaway at 250 subs. I don't know what I'm up to right now. But all you have to do is go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose. Hit that subscribe button right down below, guys, and you will be entered into a Hollow Chain Hot giveaway. I have it in my account. I'm ready to give it to you guys. I cannot wait. <coughs> and then today, like, I don't know. I just I want to go over something that, you know, my current bags, what I'm holding for the alt season, what I'm holding for, uh, you know, Bitcoin's potential run and everything included in that, my current bags, and what I'm really shilling, what I'm really looking at, and some of my Zen moves that I am making and then I also want to talk about the Bitcoin price itself because we did have a weekly close at seven o'clock guys I missed it by just a half an hour but we are going to take a look at the weekly chart on Bitcoin to see where we are headed possibly into the near term here and then <coughs> and then I also want to go over some of the coins that have already popped from my call from last night which I can go over in that too and some of them are my active bag some of them aren't so we will go over that as well but anyway, guys, my current bags, all right, my non-active bags, these are the coins that I am not actively trading, although sometimes they do overlap, guys. I do have small positions that I am actively trading because I think that they're going to pop quicker. But for whatever reason, I have a non-active, you know, in the ledger, always on there. I keep them off the exchange. I got a lot of Bitcoin, guys. It's probably my biggest holding, and this is all in order as well. I have a little bit of Ethereum, guys. Not too much. I wish I had more Ethereum. I wish I had bought it more under 200. I actually don't know where it's sitting at. So maybe we can take a look at that too. <coughs> HOT, guys. I threw quite a bit of Bitcoin into that. Um, it was probably almost two months ago now. I'm trying to think of like when I tweeted about it. But almost two or three months ago. Um, I bought at 9 and then again at 16, which I think it's currently sitting at about my accumulation level. So that's like in a, a, that's like in a zone for me. So I'll probably continuously buy throughout that entire zone. But um, <coughs> yeah, 16 sets and 9 sets for my entries on my hot bag. I have XRP, guys. Um, quite a bit of XRP hiding away. I've had it for probably two years now or a year and a half. I bought it at 10 or 15 cents. Very low, very cheap. Um, right now, accumulation for like 40 cents is what I'd be looking at in USD. Um, NFT, guys, mainframe, one of those other big holdings. Um, again, these are going smaller and smaller, but I have a lot of T game. I threw two Ethereum or three Ethereum into T game the other day. So I have a small bag of that. And that's the gambling website, guys. I use the website, um, but they don't have T game deposits yet. So I'm waiting for that to happen. I think it's supposed to launch here pretty soon. And then 88 Cardano, one of my smallest bags of my non-active portfolio. Um, I went in with my grandpa on that one. We have quite a bit together and we kind of just like, you know, we wanted to see what was going to happen in the next two or three years. Guys, Charles Hopkinson, whatever his last name is, he is kind of destroying the community. So I do feel really bad um, <coughs> for buying that now because it does... I don't know, it just seems like every day they have another um, in-fight group thing. And it's kind of, it reminds me a lot of like the Bitcoin Cash era um, in Bitcoin's history just this last year. And then I also have an active bag of hot that I will be uh, doing the giveaway for. So that's mainly only active because I'm giving some of it away to you guys. Um, I have Raven. Um, small bag of that, I entered at 908 
you know, thinking that I had a stop buy up there at 908 because it broke out of resistance. And then that has not pumped past that yet. So I'm holding that until probably 900. I'm going to try to get my entry at least back out on that. And it hit it the other day on a different exchange. Just didn't get it on uh, Binance. Anyways, MFT, I have a small bag of that active right now. Uh, that is actually currently pumping. So I'll probably get out of that pretty soon here. We have ADA. We have a smaller bag of that. Um, I'm looking to... I've been waiting for that to pump for a while too. My entry on that was like... What was it? 1,200 or 1,100 stats. Um, you know, I know other people have made the same um, entry as I did. So, I don't know. I figured it was going to pump by now and it hasn't just because of all this infighting. And, it's have, and maybe I'll get rid of that bag tonight. Who knows? Um, I know I need to get rid of it soon. And then I have... Metam guys, that is Metamorph. That's an exchange that's just launching. Um, I'm looking to sell the bag soon. I actually don't know what the current price is, but it is on IDEX, and I'm looking to get. Uh, my entry was around nine thousand. Uh, Vitalix is that what people call it? I think I think so. Um, so you know, I'm looking to get out of that anytime soon. It looks like it's up almost. Um, oh, it's down like one thousand Vitalix right now, but that won't be an issue. Uh, I know that will pump eventually. And then, guys, bags I need, but I still haven't started, but I still show because they're amazing. BAT, Brave, guys, basic attention token. Might get a listing on Coinbase here pretty soon. I know I'm excited for that. Um, <coughs> I'll probably make a really big position when it does get added to Coinbase after that retest. Um, just because, well, I'm going to be throwing my profits from these active portfolios into these coins. Uh, ZIL, guys, I will shill the Zill until the end of time. I never really had a question on that. It's one of the best teams out there, and I don't own any right now. So it's probably one of my biggest Zen moves. Um, and then I have XLM, guys. And I'm going to flip a majority of my XRP into XLM when XRP does get above, like, a couple dollars again. Last time I saw how fast that happened, and I just don't want to miss that exit this time. So, you know, that's what I'm looking at today. But guys, I've been, er, that's what I've been looking at for the last year, probably. I mean, guys, guys those are my active bags for the next years, two ba two years, you know. Not active, but non-active bags. So definitely take a look at those. And then um, I have Strat, MFT, Key, Raven, RLC, Hot, X, uh, XVG, TRX, and TNT all on my watch list today. Um, I tweeted this out last night. Again, guys, if you don't follow me, go over the Bitcoin overdose. At Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. One of the best, uh, you know, small TA channels you'll probably ever find. I don't even know what else to tell you guys. But I care about you and I want you guys to make money. And I tweeted about MFT and Key. And they both popped today. So, you know, just something to look at, guys. Like, fucking Key, man. Key, have, I've been keeping an eye on for a long time. I made a video about it maybe two weeks ago around this price. This 90 price. And um, had you guys held all the way through that, you'd have been pretty off, pretty well off, you know. <laughs> but I'm sure, like, I might be getting back into ADX here. I've been looking at that. Um, <clears throat> you know, whatever else. Raven, guys, Raven still, uh, it popped the other day, like, I mean, yesterday. But it just did not, on this exchange, it, it looked a lot better on Bittrex. Um, another exchange that I use. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, RLC, guys. Um, something else I was taking a look at yesterday, and I really noticed that it was good. Like 680 is really where I wanted to make an entry, but um, did not get around to that. Although it does have really heavy resistance, so we might be able to get back in down here. Um, you know, just looking at it now. But this is one of those coins, low volume right now. It's really probably going to head up. Um, just looking at some of the days that, that these have traded, um, I mean, this is insane amount of volume, you know, uh, this is almost $14,000 or like $1.4 million. So that's like about 1000 Bitcoin, a little bit under anyway. So you're going to keep like seeing a lot of these pop. I just want you guys to be ready for those. Um, anyways, follow me on Twitter because you will get probably more up to date calls than you would on uh, the YouTube channel, but guys, for what I can get right now, my indicator on the daily, guys, we did close about $50 underneath yesterday's opening. Um, we moved about, I mean, let's see here. So 
what we started at um the 21st okay all the way up here $6,500 down to $6,400 and $90 or $6,490 so not even $600 guys $500 move last week pretty weak um, usually Bitcoin does move a lot more than that. I don't even think it moved that. I mean, you look at it now and that's only like $40. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? No, it's like under $200, guys. It's like $190 some dollars on the weekly candle. Um, compared to last week when we had the 7,800 punch, uh, it's pretty nuts, you know. But I think we are trying to form some type of a basis here, guys. I mean this so hard back in January, but guys... Back in January, I released a meme on my Twitter that said that we're going to go indefinitely sideways <laughs> for the rest of the year. And it might turn out to be quite accurate. Um, last week, we did have a green candle. So, you know, we probably will get a red candle here two weeks in a row. And hopefully we don't open up too bad tomorrow morning, guys. Monday will indicate how the rest of this week goes. So, you know, we usually get a bloody Monday, but hopefully we will see a little bit different of a move guys i want to take a look at ethereum real quick um we're not going to really take a look at <coughs> anything else because it hasn't really moved at all it's kind of a waste of time for you guys so ethereum is still under 220 dollars um looks like 200 is forming a double bottom but you know we still i, I don't know guys my accumulation doesn't start until 160 and down to about 100 so i think um Depending on how altcoins do this this week, we'll probably see how Ethereum performs the rest of the year. It's probably this is probably one of the most important weeks we'll see, guys. Uh, last year around this time is when that hype began. Um, I just don't see the same type of hype right now uh, coming from at least like all of the mainstream media outlets. But I can tell you right now that like that doesn't mean it can't just start randomly. Um, I mean, it felt like that last time, but the price got above 10K. Now, the price hasn't really moved much on Bitcoin the last, um, you know, two, three weeks. But that being said, it can all flip just like that, guys. I remember last time that happened, too. If you guys were here last time during the, um, before the spike, like right before the spike, you guys would remember a really weird downtime that you, like, really lost hope in everything. And I know that that could be said for the last like year or whatever, or the last nine months. But um, I I remember it specifically like right in this trading period. It was um, let's see here. It was like October sixteenth to about October thirty first or November fifth. I remember it was very very quiet. Like you didn't you didn't hear anything about Bitcoin in the news. You didn't really like. You know, the price was doing nothing. And then all of a sudden we had a big sell off. And, you know, everybody was like scared from 7,500 because it was big psychological support. And then we hit 56 or 5,800, that area. And um, all of a sudden, like Bitcoin spiked up above 8,000. And then there was no resistance up ahead. And that's kind of where we're at right now. You know, we're like chilling in that $6,500 area. Just $700 above where that bull run began this time last year. So this should be really interesting. Well, guys, I think we'll have a little bit of a dip before we start seeing any uptrend. And I think it's going to, uh, I don't know how low it's going to get, but maybe 61 or 6,300 this week. And then we'll probably get um, a little bit of a bullish um, sell, or a, a, a little bit of a big sell-off, like down to like 58, and then we'll probably get a spike up to like 60 or 74, 73. I don't know. I, I can see that happening on the short term. But this just reminds me of the same time last year <coughs> when we didn't have anything going on. And, um, you know, there's still a lot of hype in this space, but it's just not as much as there was um, last year. Guys, the entire last year bull run was hype. So I just, I don't know. I'd be surprised if we fell lower below 5,800. But, you know, again, just be ready, guys. Always be ready. But I think the trend changed. I think we are headed higher. Maybe not this week, but next week. Or, um, you know, November, maybe November 13th, guys. Maybe I'll get a birthday present from the heavens. 
and the crypto gods will pump to the moon or something like that that would be amazing that would be awesome anyways guys you have a great rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell and go follow me over at bitcoin overdose on twitter your daily dose of crypto buy that dip one bitcoin always equals one bitcoin guys flipping those shit coins over the bitcoins follow me over at bitcoin overdose for a chance to win guys hot hollow chain doing a giveaway at 250 youtube subscribers so hit that subscribe button as well um you know what guys buy bitcoin and chill buy that dip and for real guys we got to get the we got to get the word out there i think bitcoin's bottom is in um you know i'm hoping it is for right now and you know hopefully this is just a 50 percent dip or 70 percent dip 75 percent dip and we're not headed down 90 percent because 90 percent would be 2k and again that'd be <sighs> it's possible but it's just not something i want to see you guys have a great rest of your day peace out buy that dip bye